us, Sam. It's a pretty wild kit. Speaking as the captain, how important was it to have a kit that was designed exclusively for the women's team? Yeah, it's a dream come true, to be honest. This is something we've wanted for ages and um, I think it represents our team pretty well. You know, what the public see of us and how we think of ourselves is a, you know, out there and bold team and I think it represents us pretty well. So we're all super excited about it. Yeah. And Caitlin, what's your feeling about this kit? Uh, is the unique design what the team had hoped for? Yeah, I think so. Just touching on what Sam said, obviously it does reflect our team. I think... Um, as you, as you all know, it's a very young team and um, I think the kit is very fun and um, that's something that is massive within our team. You know, we, we are always having fun and it is out there and we all have our own, you know, personalities and I think um, that definitely shows that. Yeah. Hayley, the back inside of the home jersey has the quote, never say die. What does this mean to the Matildas and to you? Yeah, it means a lot to us. Um, Having it on the inside of our jersey, knowing, out we're, knowing that we're stepping out every game, you know, with it right there with us. Um, this saying goes back long before a lot of us were in the team and it's just about the never, never give up attitude. So basically whether we're winning or losing or, you know, if it's the 10th minute or the 90th minute, we have that attitude to never give up. Yeah, we've definitely seen that on the pitch. Now, Sam, you've had a great year. You made the W League Grand Final with Perth Glory. You uh, won the, the um, you became fifth in the Ballon d'Or and you won the double golden boot in two leagues. What would it mean to win the World Cup? Yeah, it would be a dream come true. It would be everything we've, you know, dedicated our lives to, sacrificed so much. So it would be a dream come true and, yeah, you can't really explain the feeling and you have to kind of stop yourself from dreaming. There's a lot of hard work to get there, but... Yeah, I think it would be everyone in this room's dream and, um, yeah, unbelievable experience. And, Caitlin, you'll be going to your third World Cup. How does it feel to go to France more experienced and more, um, well, fully recovered from your injury? Hopefully, hopefully I'm, I'm picked first. <laughs> <laughs> and um, fully fit and healthy is the main thing for me to, um, you know, try and give my best chance of being there but um, yeah if I was to go to my third World Cup um, obviously looking at that um, it is pretty incredible um, 24 with three World Cups um, but you know I think the vibe going into this one's a lot different to the last two um, generally going into this one believing we can win the World Cup is definitely a different feel um, so yeah that's definitely something I want to be a part of and give ourselves the best possible chance yeah of course now, Hayley, you had a great game um, against New Zealand. You scored a goal coming back from your injury. How does it feel to um, come back at this level, playing so well, and how was your road to recovery? Yeah, it's great for me to be back here in this team. I think, uh, for me personally, my injury was really tough mentally and physically, but knowing that I had the Matildas and the national team to come back to and be a part of having a World Cup, having an Olympics. It's just an exciting thought. So for me, that was always in the back of my mind, knowing I could get through it and be here. Um, just building confidence and, and going into these games leading up to the World Cup is exciting too. Yeah, well, it's great to see you back out there. Thank you, Sam, Caitlin and ha ha Hayley. Sorry. <laughs> Um, without a doubt, this room is behind the Matildas and we wish you the very best for the World Cup.